Hey, I'm Summer Rain Oaks, and about three years ago, I began a journey to understand why I craved sugar so much. The focus on sugar in my own diet was a lens that helped clarify and define my vision of a healthier life, one that I have passed along as part of my new book, Sugar Detox Me. And I am so excited to share some of my favorite lower sugar recipes with you here. When we think of salads, we don't always think that they'll fill us up, but this is a hearty, filling meal that is full of flavor and nutrition. Here we'll create another variation of our dressing, combining avocado with plain yogurt for the silkiest, smoothest dressing that I have found yet. So we're gonna take the washed lentils and then you're gonna put them into a saucepan and add about two cups of water or vegetable broth and I'm also going to add a bay leaf for just a little flavor and a pinch of salt and put that onto our stove top. And let it simmer for about 20, 25 minutes. You'll keep an eye on them. But while that's on the stove top, we'll move to the butternut squash. You're gonna to wanna to dice it into about an inch to even a two inch dice. And we're gonna add some olive oil and just mix that throughout consistently. And just lay that out onto your pan. And we're gonna stick this in the oven at 400 degrees for roughly 20 to 25 minutes. All right, so now we're ready to make our dressing. We're going to use a mason jar. We're just gonna scoop the avocado right into the mason jar. Add about two tablespoons of cilantro. We're also gonna be using some lime juice, two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, a pinch of salt, and a pinch of white pepper. And we're gonna be using a quarter cup of Siggy's plain yogurt. Add that to the mason jar. This is the fun part. So I'm gonna shake this up and it'll give you some nice exercise before you eat your meal and shake out any bad energy. That sounds ready. And we're just gonna mix this right into our kale. This has all the protein and nutrition that you could possibly want. And it looks like our lentils are finished. So just grab a bunch of your kale and add some of the lentils. This butternut squash looks delicious. So we're just gonna take the spoon and add a little bit of that to the top as well. And there you go, that dish is done. Mm. Okay, that is delicious. 